टुडे आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट द म्यू वेरियंट ऑफ कोविड नाइन्टीन ऑल्सो नोन एज बी वन सिक्स टू वन एंड वॉज एडेड टू द डब्ल्यू एच एस वाच लिस्ट ऑन थर्टीथ ऑगस्ट आफ्टर इट वॉज डिटेक्टेड इन थर्टी नाइन कंट्रीज एंड वॉज फाउन टू प्रोसेस एस ए क्लस्टर ऑफ म्यूटेशन दैट मे मेक इट लेस ससिप्टेबल टू द इम्यून प्रोटेक्शन मे हैव एक्वेयर्ड The new mu variant of the novel coronavirus is more than seven times more resistant to the antibodies, which is created by vaccination, than the original strain of the viruses. As per Tokyo's Institute of Medical Sciences and a member of team, the mu variant doesn't make vaccines ineffective, nor does it require new antivirus measures at the individual's level, which was said by Kyo Sheto, an associate professor of virology at that university. They also added that the variant is the most resistant to antibodies among the previously detected strains of the viruses. It is crucial to identify what type of variants are spreading that will require an expansion of capacity to conduct genome analysis which can provide details genetic information to the viruses. The World Health Organization has also added the mu variant was detected in Colombia to the list of mutated strains of the the virus that is monitors and track the spread of it in the study a team of researchers from the university of tokyo that is ims and other institutes attached a spike protein which sticks out from the surface of the viruses and infect human cells to the surface of another viruses that can be more easily handled than the actual coronavirus The researchers many times repeated that the process of generate pseudo viruses harboring spike proteins of the various mutated strains of the virus and tested how far neutralizing antibodies collected from the pupil which is inoculated against covid-19 which could prevent the pseudo viruses from entering cells prepared for the study It is also known that the mu variant was more likely to reduce the effectiveness of antibodies which is produced from the vaccination. The WHO on August 30 designated the mu variant as a variant of interest. Then why has mu has been designated as a variant of interest? Because it carries several mutation to the spike gene. An article published in the Journal of Medical Virology states that Some of mu's mutation are found in other variants of concern while others are new. The experts based in Rome studied the spread of mu in Italy. They said that the strain has a mutation that are also found in the variant of concern alpha, beta and gamma variant. According to the European Center for Disease Prevention and Control, the mu variant also carries a mutation which is found in the delta variant. The WHO's BOI designation means the strain has genetic changes that has predicted or known to affect viruses which is characterized such as transmissibility, disease severity, immune escape, diagnostic or therapeutic escape. Second, the strain being identified to cause significant community transmission or multiple COVID-19 cluster in multiple countries with increasing relative prevalence alongside increasing number of cases over time. Third, it may have other epidemiological impacts to suggest an emerging risk to global public health. So, will vaccine still work against the mu variant? For that we can say that there is not yet enough evidence to say whether the mu variant will be able to invade protect from coronavirus vaccines or not. As per lab based studies by the expert in Rome tested the effectiveness of the biotech Pfizer vaccine against the mu variant and found that the despite several mutations in the spike that is SARS CoV-2 B1621 is neutralized by the Pfizer vaccine which is elected antibodies they note that the neutralization through effective was lower than that of other coronavirus variants 
They also highlighted the importance of properly quarantining people after abroad travel to avoid the spread of newly emerging SARS-CoV-2 lineages to different countries. However, a study published in the Lancet Infectious Disease on 13th August 2021, which suggests that the mu variant has a two cases of a potential vaccine escape. They also wrote that the several of the spike mutation within mu has been reported to show reduced neutralization by antibodies. The mu variant was also found to have the same spike mutation that has been associated with a weakened vaccine response to the beta variant. So, the presence of mutations associated with vaccine escape might warrant reclassification of this variant to a variant of concern. Next, the mu variant appears to have the same symptom as all other coronavirus stains. The main symptoms include a high temperature, a new continuous cough, a loss or change to your sense or smell or taste. This means you have noticed that you cannot smell or taste anything or things smell or taste different to normal. The NHS says that the most people who have symptoms of COVID-19 will have at least one of the above. So, all viruses mutated over time and most mutations have little to no impact on the virus behavior. So, indicators are also that mu might not be as contagious. But researchers are watching to see if mu is able to quickly double its cases like Delta did when becoming the dominant variant. Now, we can say that mu over 7 times more resistant to antibodies than the first strain of COVID-19. So, the most common symptoms of COVID-19 are fever, dry cough and tiredness. Other symptoms that are less common and may affect some patients which includes loss of taste or smell, acneous and pains, headache, sore throat, nasal congestion, red eyes, diarrhea or a maybe a skin rash is how dangerous it is. So as per report and research it is said that it is not contagious as other. The good news is our vaccine currently protect all against symptomatic infection and severe diseases from all variants of the viruses as so far. So the massive numbers of new COVID-19 infection not vaccines are the main drivers of new coronavirus variants. The rise of coronavirus variants has highlighted the huge influences evolutionary biology has on daily life. But how mutations, random chance and natural selection produce variants is a complicated process and there has been a lot of confusion about how and why new variants emerge. So, how do new variants emerge? The answer will be, unfortunately, uncontrolled spread of a virus can overcome even more the tightest bottleneck. While most mutations have no effect on the virus, some can and have increased high contagious the coronavirus is. It is a fast spreading strain is able to cause a large number of COVID-19 cases somewhere. It will start to outcomplete less contagious strain and generate a new variant, just like the Delta variant did. So, nowadays many researchers are studying which mutation lead to more transmissible version of the coronavirus. It turns out that variants have tended to many of the same mutation that increases the amount of viruses an infected person produces with more than a million new infections occurring every day and billions of people still unvaccinated. So, susceptible hosts are rarely in short supply. So, the natural selection will favor mutations that can exploit all these unvaccinated people and make the coronavirus more transmissible. So, under these circumstances, the best way to counter strain the evolution of the coronavirus is to reduce the number of infection. It has mutations that have the potential to evade immunity provided by a previous COVID-19 infection or vaccination. As per WHO, the new variant was first identified in Colombia but has since been confirmed in at least 39 countries according to the agency. 
Expert WHO's report, Mu has a constellation of mutation that indicates potential properties of the immune escape. Preliminary data presented to the virus evolution working group shows a reduction in neutralization capacity of the covalent and vaccine sera, similar to that seen for the beta variant, but this needs to be confirmed by further studies. Next is, vaccine can stop this new variant? The answer may be, may or may not be. Because the delta variant has spread around the globe and the next variant are already on the rise. If the goal is to limit infection, vaccines are the answer. Eventually, when nearly everyone has some immunity to the coronavirus from vaccination, viruses that break through its immunity could gain a competitive advantages over other strains. It is theoretically possible that in this situation, natural selection will lead to variant that can cause infection and serious diseases in the vaccinated people. However, these mutations must still escape the population bottleneck. For now, it is unlikely that vaccine-induced immunity will be the major player in variant emergence because there are lots of new infections occurring. It is simply a number of game. The modest benefit the virus could get from vaccine invasion is dwarfed by the vast opportunities to infect unvaccinated people. So, the world has already witnessed the relationship between the number of infection and the rise of mutation. The coronavirus remained essentially unchanged for months until the pandemic go out the control. So, the best way is to stop new variant is to stop the spread and the answer is that is vaccination. So, the best way is to slow the emergence of new variants is to reduce the spread of infection by taking measures to protect ourselves. So, this is all for today. Thank you for watching this video.